I'm John Paul Caponegro. I'm an artist living in uh, Cushing, Maine. I got involved in printing uh, at a very early age. Uh, my father is a fine art photographer and uh, one of the better silver gelatin printers in the history of the medium. So printing was just a part of life for me. And the darkroom was an interesting place to uh, go experiment with light and strange chemistry and paper. Later, I made the transition to digital technology in the early 90s. And that was uh, quite an interesting evolution. Uh, it allowed me to bring forward some of the training, exposure to offset printing that uh, I'd encountered with my mother, who often oversaw the production of fine art books and posters. Uh, it was really there that I saw the power of digital imaging. I think the question of what prints do for your images, what it does for you, what you put into the process really isn't asked enough. And I'm not sure it's ever been asked enough. And back in the old days when you had to make a print to see your photograph, you had these strange little negatives. You couldn't really see the image until you made a print something. And you, you see what I'm doing right here with my hands? It's not just because I'm Italian. People love to hold their images and connect with them in a, in a very specific way. Prints persist and we don't always look at them carefully. Uh, sometimes it's just they persist in our environment, but they get in at the periphery of our vision, they get into our subconscious. We live with them, we have a relationship with them. I think that kind of experience isn't celebrated enough. I know a, a friend of mine, Bill Clift, very fine photographer, very fine printmaker, loves it when people put his prints or his little cards on their refrigerator because it means they're living with them. And in part, we make prints to live with things. The images that I carry here are wonderful. I can show my entire portfolio to somebody sitting on an airplane, where I can't do that with an exhibition or a portfolio. But there's something persistent about a print that's always there with you. I know that not only do I connect with my images more when I can hold them, when I can see them for a long time, when they're in my environment, when I make them, when I take the care that's required to make a really beautiful print, you consider all the details, you think about the larger composition, how that all relates, what material is going to be most appropriate for it, what kind of scale, how large or small seems to make it feel most, most its own, because I think we could easily say the most powerful, and I don't think you're always going for impact. Big, sharp, and glossy isn't always the statement that you want to make. Sometimes it's great, other times it's really inappropriate. This notion that we're using digital devices uh, to see more and more images and that somehow uh, we've lost the print, I, I think is uh, somewhat off the mark. I know that most people experience my images on my website and that's even allowed me to go and do some audio video and have my voice with my images. It's allowed me many more opportunities. I can share new relationships with images, even for myself. And at the same time, I think we look back when we didn't have these opportunities, a lot of people looked at uh, images in another form of print. See, right now we're talking about the fine art print, the kind of thing you would see in a museum. But most people would uh, first look at images in a card, on a poster, or in a book. For the longest time, a uh, very analog, traditional, great photographer, George Tice, beautiful printmaker, considered his primary medium the photographic book because you could show many more images in a collection, sequenced in a particular way, all gathered, almost like a portfolio, but greatly extended. Uh, so I think we have to ask ourselves, what do we mean by a print? Is it the four by five snapshot that you have on your refrigerator? Is it the little two by three that you have in your wallet? Is it uh, the book? Is it, is it a poster that's in your environment? Is it that fine art print that's beautifully crafted? In that respect, I think that making the fine art print really takes it up to the highest level. You're considering every aspect of the printing process as carefully as you can and trying to do it with as much intention, with as much passion, reason, uh, feeling behind all of that. And uh, I think that's where it all comes together in its, in its most intense distilled form. Uh, it has certain limitations. We can't look at a thousand prints. There's no space that will hold it and it would be exhausting. You have to go to see prints. Prints are physical things that like you and me, we have to actually meet to have that relationship. And that's actually kind of cool. I consider printing an extension of the entire creative process. And I suppose I like finding the ideas most. Um, a lot of times that comes with me sketching, doing small thumbnails, doodles with writing. I, I love to see where that can take me. 
but there's a, a kind of a testing process of can you find that material, can you combine it all together, can you get the right composition, can you enhance that in post, and then finally bringing it to particular materials. There, there's this massive distillation process that happens throughout that, and, and to see what's left in the final print is, is really quite fascinating. It's like, after all of the things you had to choose to do, and all the things you had to choose to leave behind, what's left? Well, hopefully it's the most important stuff, hopefully it's the stuff that you feel most passionate about. Uh, finding that, winnowing all of those ideas and all of those experience down into its essence is, is really an extraordinary experience. So I recommend that you visit my website, check out the blog, check out those extra resources, and then when you're ready, take a workshop. I, I strongly recommend that you just start printing. Get that process and that relationship started with your, with your images and with yourself and, and, and then with other people as well.